What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. So, today's haircut, we're actually doing a trim on top and then a low fade. Let's get it. So, first things first, uh, I like to cut the top first most of the time. Sometimes I don't, but on this particular haircut, I actually am. So, you, as you can see, I'm saturating the top. Make sure the hair is nice and saturated before I start. Now I'm going to start in the middle of his head and I'm going to set my initial guideline with my Hanzos. And all I'm doing is following that line forward, combing the hair up, getting a nice stretch, and then cutting it off. And I want to make sure it's all even as I come forward. over a little bit and I'm doing the same thing I'm using the initial guideline to make sure the rest of the hair is gonna be even so as you can see I've sped up the video just to speed up the process a little bit and now I'm just making sure the whole right side of his head at the top of his hair is gonna be even so I'm still using that middle guideline even though I'm coming over sideways to make sure everything is cut at an even length. And now I'm going the opposite way, cutting start uh, cutting the left side of his of the top of his head. Get a little part every time. And snip off the hair that's too long. Checking my work, making sure it's all even. There's gonna be some parts that are probably slightly longer than others. You know, I'm just making sure that it's pretty even. All right, so now I'm gonna start by debulking the side of his head. So I got a number four guard on there, and I'm just coming up right to right below the parietal ridge, and I'm flicking out. Now I'm doing the same thing with the, with the number two guard. I'm going underneath what I did with the number four, and I'm still just flicking out. Now I'm not really worried about how it fades into the number four or the top, because I'm just debulking the hair, and I'm going to fade that in anyways. So now I got my Babyliss Silver FX. Starting my initial zero bald guideline. And as you can see, I'm leaving them dark right there in the C cup. You know, I like to line that up, especially with the low fade. I like the way it looks when it's nice and lined up. I'm just balding them out at the bottom. And I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not too particular on how how straight this line is. As long as for the most part it's decently straight, we're gonna be alright. So sometimes I have people ask me, you know, why I put in the bald line. Uh, the way I do, you know, some people they say that makes it too hard to take the line out, but uh, man, it's really not that hard if you have uh, clippers that are zero gap or uh, whatever you put the line in with. Meaning, I'm putting the line in with these trimmers, I'm gonna take it out with these trimmers. So, if it, if it did happen to leave a line when it comes to uh, fading up, then I would just use these trimmers the opposite way and I'd flick out to make sure it gets that bald line out. Now I'm just making sure all the hair on the side is cleaned off. Now I got my Babyliss foil shaver. And I'm just shaving off all that hair at the bottom of the, of the line. Remember, when I get closer to the line, the pressure is not as hard and I flick out. And sometimes I even come down with the, uh, with the shaver. Now I got my white effects open all the way up and I'm setting my next guideline in. So on this actual haircut I'm coming about half an inch to three quarters of an inch up. And I'm flicking out towards the top. So remember 
remember I go from open to close so now my clipper is about halfway closed and I'm coming up about half of what I just did and I'm flicking the clipper out as I come up now I'm gonna close the clipper a little more start attacking that bottom line still flicking out close the clipper all the way and attack that bottom line and it, I don't know if you can really see, but I actually start flicking out before I even get to that line. And I'm just adjusting my lever. Just a little bit of detail work, just adjusting the lever, making sure that fade looks nice. Now I got my number one guard on there, open. Coming up about another three quarters of an inch, following that same shape. Dropping it in the back. Now I'm going to club my clipper halfway and come up right beneath that. Make sure I'm using a flick out motion and then close the clipper all the way and attack that bottom line. Now I got my one and a half guard on there open. I'm doing the same thing, coming up about three quarters of an inch. Following the same shape. Flicking out towards the top of the hair. Adjusting my clipper closed. Close my clipper halfway. Come right beneath that and I'm closing it all the way. And then just doing a little bit of detail work. So I'll, I'll just keep adjusting that lever as needed to take out, take out them dark spots. So now I'm using my number four guard again. I'm just cleaning up around the parietal ridge again. really just guiding the clipper when I, once I get closer to that parietal ridge. I'm actually not placing it on the head. I'm actually just guiding it and scooping up and out. Now I got my number three guard open. Now I'm just cleaning it up. Hitting them dark spots, closing the clipper where I see where I see I need to attack the line a little more. Opening and closing my clipper as needed to make sure I get out them dark spots. And still I'm not putting much pressure on the on the head as I get closer towards the top of the haircut. Now I got my number two guard open and I'm doing the same thing. So basically I'm fading down from this point. So I started with the four, then the three, and now the two, and I'm opening and closing my levers as needed to take off most of that bulk in that dark and dark areas. And this is just how I do it. You know, you don't have to do it this way, but I feel this way works for me. And I like to fade down once I get to uh, after the one and a half. That way, I don't take the fade too high. So now I got my one and a half clip, doing some detail work corner blending trying to get them dark spots out trying to make sure the fade looks good so for some people this can be a finished fade you don't have to do these extra steps I always say this because I feel some people think they have to do it uh, some people's fade may come out a little better when doing these steps so they don't need to go back and detail but for me I, I feel like I need to detail to give this haircut a better look so now I got my number one guard on there still just detailing opening and closing that lever as needed I say that a lot but it's just because I feel I need to you know I, I use that lever that's that's the whole point of using these clippers is to make sure you use that lever to get these dark spots off. Now I got my 116th guard and I'm just cleaning up the bottom of the fade, flicking out using a little bit of corner blending. 
adjusting the lever. Now I'm still attacking that bottom line. I see some dark spots, some dark areas that I want to clean up. I said earlier, if there's still a line, I was gonna use my trimmers. So as you can see, I got my trimmers now. And I'm cleaning up that bottom line, taking out that line from the ball, from the from the from the razor. I'm just barely tapping that line and flicking out as soon as I hit that line, because if I don't, I will create another line, and I don't want that. may seem a little excessive to some but for me I just feel something I need to do to make sure I get the haircut nice right, so now I'm, I'm starting on this edge up starting on the C cup and I'm just giving them a nice curve trying not to go too far into the hairline people always ask me like hey, how do you how do you do that curve uh, man, you just you just do it. Like it's hard to explain, really. You know, you can use your your hand as a compass and put your finger on the head and help turn that. You can start on one on the top and curve down. You can start from the bottom and curve up. You can use the side of the trimmers. There really is no one way to do it. It's just whatever feels best for you. All right. So now I'm starting on the other side of the head, and we're doing the same exact thing. Whatever we did to the other side, we're doing it to this side. So that, this is the main reason why I've sped up this process. I feel like I've already talked about it, so I don't want to talk your ear off about the haircut. But I'm doing the same thing. So I faded up to about a one and a half, and now I got my four guard on there, and I'm coming and I'm fading down. So I start with the four, open and close the clip as needed. Then the three, open and close, two, open and close, and now I got my one and a half, and I'm cleaning up. And I got my one guard open, cleaning up some more. And then I'm gonna use my 116th to clean up the bottom of that fade. Take my trimmer, clean up that bottom line. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually putting some clips in his hair that way I can hold his hair up and I can edge up underneath the hair so he can have a, a straight hairline when he does decide to comb his hair over. So I mean, I, you can use a brush or a comb to hold his hair up and then clip, put the clips in to make sure the hair stays backing up. Or sometimes what I do is I just use the brush or the comb to hold it up as I edge up underneath. But this way, I don't have to worry about holding the hair up. It's just going to stay up with the clips in. So I'm starting on the middle of his head. Setting my initial guideline and then moving over. pushing that hair up and over that way I can make sure I'm lining them up lining up his hairline and not the hair that goes over his hairline go the opposite direction that way I can line up the other side of his hair now I'm taking off the clips I want to see how it looks 
And see right there, I'm actually just holding up that hair just to tap a little bit of hair that I felt. I felt that he needed to uh, be cleaned up. Now I'm doing a little bit more detail work on the fade. Making sure he has a nice blurry effect. All right, now I'm starting on the back of the haircut. So I start my initial guideline with the clipper open, and then I adjust the lever open to close to get that line out. Now I got my 1 8 on there, my number one guard, going up about 3 quarters of an inch, open to close. 1 and a half guard, open to close. Now I got my 1 16 and I'm cleaning up that bottom line. Clipper open, doing some detail work. And as you can see, I'm actually taking different steps this time, but it's, it's gonna give me the same effect. And the reason why I did this is I actually decided to bring the fade up a little in the back. It looked like it was a little too low and it wasn't it wasn't blending in with the sides. So now I got my number four guard on there, cleaning up the top of the fade. Number three and now the number two. Now remember I adjust the lever as I feel needed. Cleaning up that bottom line with my trimmers. And now I'm doing some blade work. And I'm just going over the line that I did with the trimmers. I'm not trying to add anything different to what he already has. I'm just cleaning up those lines. Putting some product in his hair. Comb it over, since that's the look he's going for. Cleaning up the front of his hairline. He has some little stragglers going over the hairline, so I decided to clean it up with my shears. And this is the finished product, a low fade with a trim on top, combed over. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Share this video. Let me know what y'all think, guys. I think I did this man justice. Y'all let me know. I, YouTube, appreciate y'all.